Good afternoon, grade two. I hope all of you are still safe and healthy and washing your hands and stay and enjoying some more time at home. Today, I am filming from the Philippines. I'm currently staying with my cousin for a couple days um, while I'm still on the, while I'm still traveling around. Um, I'm so ha I was so happy to see all the different video, uh, not videos, uh, to see all the different photos of your papers and of you guys trying to diff trying out your different rhythms on different sounds in your classroom. That was very cool. I'm so excited that you guys are still making some music, even though we can't be in our classroom right now. Now today we're going to talk about something called an ostinato. Repeat after me: ostinato. Good, try it one more time. Ostinato. Good, try it a little bit faster. Ostinato. Good, now try it as fast as you can. Ostinato. Well done. All right, now today we're gonna talk about an ostinato. But what is an ostinato? We can't really talk about it if we don't know what it is. So here's what I need you to do. I need you to get a piece of paper and I need you to get a pencil. I'll give you one minute to go grab a paper and a pencil so that way we can write down, uh, so that way we can write down our uh, lesson for today, all right? You have one minute and go. All right, so you should have a paper and you should have a pencil ready to go, all right? Now, on your paper, I want you to write ostinato at the very top, all right? An ostinato is spelled O-S-T-I-N-A-T-O. -O. Ostinato, again, is spelled O S T. I N A T O. Ostinato. I want you to write that at the very top. Excellent. Now, next on your paper, I want you just to write this top word right here. This word says guess. So the guess is spelled G U. E S S. Again, guess is spelled G U E S S. Right, guess right here on your paper. Now we're talking about an ostinato, and I want you to take two minutes. I'll put it up on my clock for you. We'll get about two minutes to tell me to write down. What do you think an ostinato is? I'll give you a hint. It has to do with the rhythms that we were talking about on uh, last week. Ta, toddy, ta, and sh. An ostinato has to do with ta, toddy, ta, and sh. So I want you to take a guess. What would an ostinato be if we're using the different rhythms that we used last week? So I'm gonna give you two minutes on the clock and you're gonna to try to write down a guess right next to where you said guess. Remember, a guess does not have to be correct, so I really want you to think and write something down, okay? All right, here we go. I'm gonna give you two minutes on your marks. Get set, go.
All right, that should be just enough time for you to write down a guess. If you did not finish writing down your guess, I want you to pause the video for right now, and I want you to write down what a guess you think is for an ostinato. Now, for those of you who have finished your guess, I want you to read it one more time just to yourself, just to remind yourself, okay, this is what I think is an ostinato. Good, now on your paper, Underneath guess, I want you to write the word real, which is spelled R-E-A-L. Underneath guess, I want you to write the word real, R-E-A-L. Now, this is where the real definition of an ostinato is. So the real definition of an ostinato is a rhythmic, pattern that repeats over and over. A rhythmic pattern that repeats over and over. I'll bring it a little bit closer so that way you can try and I want you to write this down right next to real, okay? It says a rhythmic, which is spelled R-H-Y-T-H-M-I-C a rhythmic pattern that repeats over and over. Take one minute to write that down. A rhythmic pattern that repeats over and over. All right, now if you haven't finished writing it down, pause the video so you can write this down next to real, a rhythmic pattern that repeats over and over. Now, I want before we put our paper down for a minute, I want you to finish writing what I have on my paper. I want your paper to look like mine. At the bottom, I've put one line down the middle. On this side, I've put an equals four. On this side, I've also put an equals four. And then on the very left-hand side, I believe, nope, sorry, the right-hand side, it has two lines and two dots, one dot right on top of the, of the other. It's got two lines and one dot right on top of the other. Now, I want you to finish drawing this. I'm gonna give you one more minute to write the rest of this down. A line down the middle equals four, equals four, and two lines and two dots, one right on top of the other. I want you to finish so that way your paper looks exactly like mine. So I'm gonna give you one more minute to make it look exactly like mine. All right, so your papers should look exactly like mine. I want you to take your paper and I want you to put it off to the side for right now. We're gonna put it off to the side because we're gonna learn a chant together as a class. Now, 
We're gonna learn our first ostinato together as a class today. It goes along with a chant that I will teach you in just a little bit, or that I'll share with you in just a little bit. Now today, we're gonna take a look at the first ostinato. We're gonna take a look at this one, this number one. Don't worry about number two, just look at number one. Now this is a ta, everyone say ta. Good, and we also have another ta. Together we've got Ta, ta. Now a ta equals two beats. So two plus two equals four. Very good. Just like our boxes last week, each of these that the line divides, this needs to equal four, and this also needs to equal four. So this first part goes like this. Ta, ta. Give it a try. Good, now the second part sounds like this. Ta, sh, sh, that's your turn. Good, now we're gonna put both of them together. Listen first. Ta, 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 sh, sh. Now it's your turn. Good, let's try it together. Here we go, one and two. And here we go. Ta, 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 sh, sh. Very good. So this is an ostinato. It's two beats, or it's two measures of four beats. Two measures of four beats. But remember, an ostinato repeats itself. It repeats over and over again. So what that means, these two lines and these two dots right here, this is something that we call a repeat sign. A repeat sign. If you see this in music, what that means is you have to go all the way back and do it again. So for example, if I'm going to use this repeat sign, it would sound like this. Ta, 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 sh, sh. Ta, 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 sh, sh. So this time you're gonna try it with me. We're gonna do it three times in a row. Are you ready? Here we go. One and two and here we go. Ta, 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 sh, sh. Ta, 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 sh, sh. Ta, 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 sh, sh. Very good. Now, because it's going with a chant, we've got some words that I've written down here at the bottom. They're a little tricky to see, so I'll go over these words with you. Instead of saying ta, 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 sh, sh, I added some words down here at the bottom, and they go like this. Grr, ar, roar, sh, sh, grr, ar, roar, sh, sh. So the first one is grr. The second one is R. The third one is roar. And then our two shushes still stay shushes. Okay? Let's try it together with the words this time. Here we go. One and two and three times. Here we go. Ta. Oops. Sorry. With the words this time. Three times. Here we go. One and two and here we go. Grr. R. Roar. Shh. R, roar, shh, shh, grr, R, roar, shh, shh. Very good. Now this time I'm gonna put the word, I'm gonna put this all down. And this time I'm gonna use my hands to show you which, what we're going to do, okay? So we're gonna follow my hands, see what I do, and make sure you watch. Ready? One, and two, and we'll do it three times. Here we go. Grr, R, roar, shh. Grr, R, roar, shh, shh. Grr, R, roar, shh, shh. Good. Now, if you want to practice that a couple times, you can go back in the video and practice going grr, R, roar, shh, shh, all together. Now, as I said before, there's a chant that goes along with this, with this ostinato, with our ostinato today. Now. This time, I want you just to listen, just to listen to the chant that goes along with our ostinato. Are you ready? 
Here we go. Here's our chant. Remember, just listening right now. I don't want a cat or dog. I think I want a dragon. It's fiery breath and mighty roar. Oh, think of all the action. It's scaly wings and giant size will help me when I roam. But something tells me magic monsters won't fit in my home. All right, so that's our chant for today. It is all about dragons, which is why we have a grr, ar, roar, because that's the sound that dragons make. Very good. Now this time, I'm gonna say the chant again, but this time I want you to say our ostinato. You're gonna follow my hands, depending on where they are, is what we're gonna do. Remember, so this one is grr, ar, roar, shh, shh, okay? Are you ready? Remember, you're gonna say the ostinato and I'm gonna say the chant. Are you ready? Here we go. One and two and here we go. I don't want a cat or a dog. I think I want a dragon. It's fiery breath and mighty roar. Oh, think of all the action. It's scaly wings and giant size will help me when I roam. But something tells me magic monsters won't fit in my home. All right, how did we do? I hope we did a really good job. Well done, that's our first ostinato putting it together as a class, well done. Now it's your turn. I've taught you now one ostinato, so now you're going to create your very own ostinato for our next chant, for our next chant, which we will learn next week. So back to our piece of paper. As I said before, we've got two sections and each of these sections equal four beats. So just like last week, you're gonna create four beat patterns using ta, ta di, ta, and sh. You're gonna use those same rhythms to create two four beat patterns. So two boxes worth of four beats, okay? Next week, we will learn how to add some words and to make it an ostinato for the chant that we were do, that we're going to do. So make sure you save this piece of paper somewhere safe so we can use this again next week, okay? Now, for those of you that would like to know, the theme of our chant next week is going to be sneezing. <laughs> Just like that, we're gonna talk about, our next chant is going to be all about sneezing. So, I want you to, for next week, I want you to create your four beat patterns, two of them, that are going to repeat. Remember, these are going to repeat over and over again. So two four beat patterns that you don't mind repeating over and over. I would like for mom and dad to once again, please post a photo either on Class Dojo or you can send an email to me as well. The EAs have my email address. I want you to send me a photo of your piece of paper, your, your ostinato paper, so that way I can see that you've written your four beat patterns, okay? All right, grade two, I will see you next week. I hope you all stay safe and healthy. Make sure to wash your hands and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.